The signature apartments located in Accra, Ghana is a sight to see. This structure is consisted of a swimming pool, a view of the hot tub, one to two bedroom apartment with contemporary decor style. It also has access to pharmacy, restaurant, spa, grocery store, tennis court, basically everything one would need in an estate. It seems like it's the perfect place for people, especially from the diaspora who are relocating to Ghana, right? So recently, a popular YouTuber went to do a tour of the building. The video was amazing. I must say myself, the video was excellently done, right? But people have a lot to say. So in this video, we're going to be talking about some of the stuff that people have to say about this beautiful structure in Ghana. But before we do that, I have to drop on this uh, disclaimer. <laughs> a disclaimer. <laughs> yes. The disclaimer is, this video is not an attack against anyone. It's only meant for entertainment purposes only and possibly a way to bring people together over what we all love properties baby that's right <laughs> i love it <laughs> yeah oh my god so my name is ap and i'm queen jody and we're back it's like we're back at it again that's excuse right. my english guys <laughs> it's been right. a while since we drop another episode but this signature apartment though yes we've seen the video and you know uh vanessa channel and when I saw the video, I was like, whoa. Me, I never knew that there was an apartment like this in Ghana. And I think the apartment lives up to its name as you well. You think so? Yes, because it's, it has a signature look. Mm. So the whole idea of um, the signature apartment, yes. I think the person really pulled it off very well. Really? Because like... You know, it's like a statement piece. You know, signature means like, yeah, you know, yeah. the brand names like um, the Dulce Gabbana. It's like signature. We people say you wear a signature brand. Mm. Yeah, it's... At, at the fact that it's a signature, it means there's no no other building like it yeah. in the Ghana. Yeah. Or in Ghana. It's not the Ghana. Yeah, in Ghana. <laughs> yeah. So... As you are, st you have started it, so let's begin. Like, you know, yeah. what are your thoughts on the place? You were just telling me, like, a few things that you like about it. But what, based on the website, you know, we go on the website, we see a lot of things that it has to offer. What are your thoughts on it? Yeah, um, you you were the one who introduced me to this video. Yes. And this property here in Ghana. And to be honest, mm. um, what I see on video thus far, mm. it's like so breathtaking mm. it's like a place that i would probably want to purchase mm. maybe not to live like long term mm. but for me i would more look on the profitability of it in terms of rental yeah so if i was supposed to get a property like this mm. i would mostly get it to rent to mm. let you understand so not necessarily to live not necessarily to live because me i'm not too much of a apartment lover where in, in in the sense of living in apartment mm -hmm. but we've lived in some cool apartments since we've been here in gambia right mm -hmm. um, and this one is very beautiful i mm. like the look of it mm. i like that it's not a, just a straight square rectangle building but mm -hmm. it, you have you have um an aesthetic going on like yeah, yeah, asymmetric yeah. Mm -hmm. you know aesthetic going on there and AP, you showed me also like on the website where they were having a lot of amenities mm. um, in that area. It was it close to the airport. Yeah. And this massive mall, like a real shopping mall. Like, yeah. I cannot tell when last I've seen a shopping mall, but that one is huge. <laughs> yes. And it's in Accra, Ghana. And we know Accra, Ghana is a very popular place. Like, yeah. you know, a lot of people from the diaspora are living there. Um, you know, it's like little New York. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is how well, it's designed. Well, to be honest, to be I've honest. never been to New York, so I couldn't tell. But like, no, based maybe on the based videos on that what you see. see in movies, when yeah. you say New York, yeah. New York. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot this song. <laughs> well, you know what? To be honest, you said something that um, is very important. What I think about it is also what you think about it. It's funny yeah. enough. I don't know if we're like twins or something, but... Um. Yeah, I would buy a, a, a unit there for one reason only, for monetization purposes only, based on the amenities that are around there. Yeah. You know, the shopping mall is always a win for me. The airport is like less than an hour away from there. Right. And the roads are paved in front. And, you know, it looks okay from what I saw on the website. Yeah. From yeah. what we saw on, on the, the website, website, it looks very nice. And even in, like, even in the video, like the the... the aerial footage that you saw is yeah. like 
if a person should live there, like the view that they would get, like yeah, the natural the view. view of like the trees and mm-hmm. the, the landscape. You see? You know, where where how the um the road cuts out. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. it's like on it's a nice. almost like on a off hill. It, it's not necessarily like a hill hill that, that part um, That's true. apartment is on, mm-hmm. but you can look on look towards an um the the hillside what i like about the apartment is like the apartment is at the back and everything else is at the front yeah. so from your apartment building you can see everything that you need to see from your balcony even from the lower floor you have a very nice look yeah right so that's what we think about it based on what we saw on the website guys we've never been to this place before never, <laughs> even though we would like to visit there uh, so yeah, it, it's, you know, it's, a, it's on our list if you guys want to book <laughs> us a ticket we will go <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> yes but w- you know the most interesting part of this um video that we watched was the comment section like yeah. I was reading them and I was like, no, we need to do a, an episode on this and really talk about what some of the things that people were saying. Mm-hmm. And if it makes sense based on what we know and, mm-hmm. you know, based on what we saw. Yeah. So what what is the first comment that you would say that caught your eyes from that <laughs> web? Talk to me from the YouTube. What I mean, was it? like, OK, when I went on to like the under the video section there, yes. I, the first uh, comment that I saw was like the person was saying 120,000 for a studio mm. and the person was like I will build three houses with it mm. um, 120,000 dollars we are looking at so like we would have to do the translation 120,000 US dollars US huh? dollars how much is that in? in probably Ghana cities that's a lot let me see 120? yeah 120,000 one million eight hundred thousand cities one million that's what i'm seeing here this is according to google let me i'm not sure roughly two million cities then that's it that's what i'm studio see there like one million yeah that's roughly two million yeah i thought it was i I was expecting it to be more that means the ghana the ghanaian currency is way more stronger than even the dollar c and the safer yeah, yes. yeah. Ghana City is, is stronger than yes, because the C economy is stronger as well. So you know. right, right. Yeah. But to be honest, though, like when when a person mentions studio, mm. you know, a studio is more like a one bedroom, um, place, right? Mm-hmm. It 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 has like bathroom, kitchen, a living quarters, but it's just it's like an all in one vibe. Mm. Some persons have it as like an open concept where everything is open. Once you walk in, you see everything mm-hmm. in its place, like the bedroom section, the living room section. Everything is open to you. But some persons might border it off depending on the design. So I didn't really mm-hmm. check the design AP. So no, the design, the design of, the, of the apartments are very like modern. It's They're, open concept. It's open concept from what I saw. Right, okay. but I don't know if every one of them is like that, and it's one bedroom, two bedroom. Okay, I think, so they have... I think, I think when you price it at one hundred and twenty thousand, I think U.S. dollars mm-hmm. now, it's priced based on where it is. You know, yeah, location have a lot to do with prices of properties, mm-hmm. and you know mm-hmm. sometimes um, you might think it's expensive. Most people, when they think about properties in Africa, they expect it to, to be, be cheap. cheap. <laughs> affordable and cheap yeah but remember that um also you know materials we don't know Mm -hmm, where they're so mm -hmm. where they they source the material from we don't know where they get their contractors from right you know we don't know where they get their furnishings from developing a a, a signature (laughs) yeah um, apartment it might be the best of the best that is there i don't know we've never been there but if you guys have actually been there comment and let us know maybe you know, if you're watching on YouTube, that would be nice so we can understand that from your personal experience what you what you saw. But yeah. If yeah. did you manage to check how many doors that apartment was having? No, I don't know. It is a lot. Uh, but from it's what uh, yeah, from what I'm seeing though, this is more than like a hundred doors. Yeah. So you guys can like comment and let us know. Mm. But from what I was I'm seeing here in the picture, yeah. it's like more than a hundred doors. Yeah, but you know, it's probably. nice to be quite honest with you. Mm-hmm. And it's like a twin tower, like either even because yeah. it's not just one building, it's two building. Mm. 
You understand? Yes. And someone also commented here as well and said, buy cheap and sell it high. High price is sad. Ghana has become something. Chief of Ghana has to be wise. <laughs> I don't know what that means. You um, know what? You I know when it comes to when it comes to real estate. Yeah. A lot of people don't understand that. It's a profit. It's it, you do real estate to make money. You don't do real estate for charity. It's not a charity work. Yeah. Right. And any business at all that you're doing, you're going to buy cheap and sell it high. Exactly. The, 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 the food produced that you buy at the supermarket is not the price that you buy it for. That's the price for the food. You have to consider packaging. Right. You have to pay marketing. for the, the can, the, the labeling, the marketing, yeah. the delivery costs. The you know, processing as the well. The processing costs. There's a whole lot of mm -hmm. other costs that mm -hmm. add to that mm -hmm. thing for it to become $1, $10, whatever right. it is for in the store. So if you're going to buy a property, of course you're not going to buy a piece of land for example a thousand us dollars right build a property on it for let's say ten thousand us mm -hmm. dollars for example mm -hmm. sake don't quote me on these mm -hmm. prices and then go out and sell it for eleven thousand us dollars you're not going to do that <laughs> you're going to go out and you're going to double that price more than likely yeah, and you're going you to add to a make, number to it a you, percentage you you know for in what persons don't understand like People who are developing properties or property owners who are considering like developing properties for monetization purposes, not to go home, go and live or retire in, then you are looking at these pro being profitable with these profits, um, properties, right? Mm. Even with investors, even if the investor is not the one developing it, but if they pay a developer yes. to build an apartment like this, mm -hmm. then they want to know. How am I going to profit? Yeah, and before they even do that structure there, they mm. have to work out all of those um, figures before they cost. actually exactly. Yeah. So the probability of them winning or losing on a property like yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. If if you if you if you keep if you watch prices on properties in Africa, then there will be no um, development because if you try to do cheap and affordable, you cannot get the job done the way that you want to get the job done. Unless the government is going to fund mm -hmm. it. But you know, so it's like that. I, I, I would want to go and buy an expensive piece of land to go and build an expensive property. Who is going to buy that property from me? But guess what happened now? And rent it for If you're building in a place like, let me tell you, if you're building in Lagos, yes, for example, right? Then prices on properties. If you're building in Lagos, yeah. then Lagos land is going to cost a premium price. That is true. If you're building in Accra, Ghana, it's going to cost a premium price. Exactly. If so. you're building in where it's Freetown, <laughs> in Sierra Leone, it's going to cost a premium no, I price. I understand. But so, you know, based on what the person was saying, buy cheap. Yeah. And it's not a matter of buying cheap, but it depends on who your target audience is going to be as well. That's the problem. When you build this property. Yes. Else, in our case, if you are going to focus on people who want affordable properties, mm. then you're not going to go to Accra, Ghana, like the, the like that place that signature is now mm. you're not gonna go there and buy a property to build something and 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 and, and rent it out or sell it no you're not going you to wanna do that you want to go in in some village then mm. in ghana where the land is cheaper mm. and you build your affordable housing there yeah so right now what, what most of the comments that has been here is basically about the pricing and not necessarily about the, the the work that yeah, was the put workmanship into it. of the yes. property. Yeah. Also, guys, I wanted to say like if you're enjoying the conversation thus far, please give the video a thumbs up and bring somebody with you. <laughs> like invite <laughs> a friend. Yeah. You know, help us to grow this community. We appreciate you guys. Um our goal is just to explore, you know, properties and show you guys what's available um in africa yeah so <laughs> following on the comments ap we have one here that um this individual said if i'm spending lol if i'm spending that kind of money mm. for a studio it will be in the united states not a developing country what's your thought on that to be honest with you i really understand what the person is saying you know for a lot of people they perceive um, Africa to be not developed, not a, a continent worth spending a certain amount of money on. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, US, with, US is the most expensive place, uh, one of the most expensive places in the world. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. like you know to buy houses there i'm sure it's more expensive than even in africa but you know the whole perception of africa is that it's poor and certain things it's should not cost developing. a certain price there and some people will say yeah it's not developed yeah right and some people will say yeah you know what um it's like the the, the the video we were watching with Stephen about the cars, how Nigerians are making luxurious cars, yeah. but people would rather to buy the Mercedes and, and the, the other Toyota brands brand. from outside. And he was even explaining how presidents from other foreign countries drive their own mm, cars, cars that they have there versus own. Nigeria. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. the same thing, how people, Africans, whether you're born here or not, will mm-hmm. rather to buy from other people are invest their money in other people's country rather than where they are from. Mm-hmm. You understand? I think it would be better to invest, especially if it's a black-owned building. Yeah. Invest that money inside a black-owned building. That money, if that owner is investing that money back in Accra, Ghana, then isn't that a good thing for Ghana yes, it and the Ghanaian is. economy? So to really say you would rather to buy a building in U.S. than your mindset is not of Africa. So this is not necessarily mm-hmm. the content for you mm-hmm. to watch. Maybe you should be watching an NS then where you're storing properties for five twenty hundred million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot buy those properties. Ah, I can imagine the comments on those videos, right? Huh? You see, like you're <laughs> those just like a window, window shop. Properties like those. <laughs> you're just window shopping on properties with those channels. Huh? You cannot buy it. But funny enough, AP, I remember um, listening to a conversation from Ernie Leisure, mm, and Leisure, the, yeah. he was speaking to a young lady of a native. You would they, they would call them natives mm-hmm. in America, and she was she, he. They were sharing like, you know, how Africa mm. has the potential to be more developed. Mm-hmm. Technologically wise, mm. with ev- like for example, the smart cities that you see or yes. the smart homes that you are seeing in Nigeria, mm-hmm. um, Africa has that potential because you don't have no building where you have to go lit down. That's correct. In US, for example, US most of US is built out like the New York cities and the the Florida and those places are built out, right? Mm. So for them to take the time to lick down all of those cities to rebuild again with the new technology, yes, then it, it's it's gonna cost them even more. Mm-hmm. That's based on the discussion, and I agree with that. So to be honest, um, to be spending money for a studio, mm. Mm, the United States is is like when we use our little um people AP, like it's better you buy properties outside of the, the developed areas mm. if you want development to come, like your money to grow with that development. Yes. Because it, it, in, in New York City, for example, AP, mm. how much more can a person sell a property for in that area? Yes, appreciation is going to be limited versus exactly. a, a, this area of Accra where, you know, um, it's now newly developed. Right. Maybe now is the best time because let's say a, a piece of land in Accra, Ghana is selling for a hundred thousand US, for example. Before it maybe was thousand US. Mm-hmm. So over time it increased. Right. But you know most people they don't understand the investment. You cannot bash them. They don't know. No, we understand. And so that. you know they will mostly spend their time talking about things instead of actually investing. Mm-hmm. There is a comment that <laughs> this one is very long. Yeah. So forgive me, <laughs> take some time to read it. The person said, I actually booked a studio in this building before. This is overhyped. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it works as an investment property. Occupancy while I book was low. Infrastructure around the signature was poor. Dusty road plus Part, I think they're trying to say potholes. The apartment I book was fil- filthy. Huh? Oh my God, they're saying it's dirty there, guys. Oh, oh <laughs> my God. Uh, I guess they're it's talking filthy. about uh, management there. And I ha- unhygienic. Pool and open areas was extremely hot. There was a lack of greenery. Our garden space, supermarket within the signature. Unnecessary, expensive. Oh my God. If you are in town for your business slash pleasure, why book the signature when you can get a solid four-star hotel at a similar price point for $40? Mm. 
or at least with you with that you can generate some level of cleansiness oh my god plus <laughs> plus there's a breakfast inclusive, inclusive. Mm. If you have 120k, look for a half plot of pro, half, half plot, plot in a prime, prime location. location and build, chuck and build. Yeah. That would be worth more in the long run. But then consider prime location. Can you believe that? Prime location is still costly. Yes, but you know what the person is saying. You know. When it comes to development, what we see here mm -hmm. in the Gambia, a lot of mm -hmm. people will throw stones like that too. Development is not up to the standard what some of these people see are used in, to. In, the, in, in US. Most people are not even used to it because it's not like most people are living in this kind of luxury in, in America. They are not. You know, not everybody is doing that. Some mm -hmm. people live in their projects are, you know, places that don't necessarily have a certain types of, a certain type of appeal to it mm -hmm, but they mm -hmm. might see it on tv and say oh this is in america or they will go somewhere and they will see it and say wow mm -hmm. you know so they are used to that seeing that yeah so now when you when you have a certain um infrastructure or a certain building mm -hmm. going or an estate going and they say oh it's luxurious but you see dirt roads for a person that is like oh no dirt roads i don't like dirt mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, and, and the, yeah. Uh, somehow the dirt road devalue the property. You know, to me, I think the dirt road is awesome because it's nature, and I don't hate nature. However, I understand the importance of having a paved road in an estate. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But you, as I said, we're not here to bash anyone. <laughs> this is what you guys tell be, us what honest, you think though, of this. Like, the, this person, this is a feedback for like, person the, the person who either developed or yes. the person who is managing Correct. the property because then they can have an understanding of who what people are is thinking booking for. their property mm -hmm. uh, or who who are the persons booking their property and what they are looking for correct you understand is it that hmm. you're offering what you are offering mm -hmm. is actually there or not there so um it's good that this video persons are commenting on it because now these persons can Look at it as a feedback. You mm. know, when you go to a place to stay, mm. like hotels and stuff like that, they will normally have something where you give your feedback mm. so that they can improve. Yes, so it's true. If that's what the person really experienced and it's not being exaggerated, mm. then it's good that they are sharing that mm. because then the persons can make amendments where needed. So this property, though, We've seen it. Who do you think they made this for? Because I don't remember if I see clearly on the website what it is for. You know, like I who? think I think most property developers are building properties with, let's say, the diaspora in mind. I but think the so. diaspora is a vast collective of people. That's true. You have people that are making a hundred thousand a year. You have people that are making 50000 a year. Yeah. You have people that are making a million a year. Mm -hmm. It depends. So now you have to look at that and say, how many people within the million a year or 500000 a year is actually coming to Ghana? Yeah, yeah. And then you design your properties based on those people instead of like mm -hmm. building mm -hmm. and say, oh, I want to attract these persons when you don't have data to see if those people are mm -hmm. actually coming to that country mm -hmm. or not. But, you know, so, in all retrospect, though, AP, like, mm. when, when we talk about the return, for example, mm. of, of African descendants or diasporan, because, the, the, you know, people tend to view mm. diasporans as everybody who is coming back from the U.S., mm -hmm. but it doesn't work like that. Mm. Diasporans are more like the people who they were born in the, the the country, like mm. for example, born in Ghana, yes, traveled out and is returning back. Mm -hmm. You understand? But then you have descendants of Ghana who are like people who were not born mm. in Ghana, but mm. their families are from Ghana, so they they want to come back. So now they have to look at the ratio of those people, if those are the people coming back, or if it's just regular people who just want to. Come and get to know Ghana, who is not. <clears throat> you know, you said you said something just now. Yeah. I agree with you. 
But it also fall in line with this comment. The person said, yeah. a room for sale at 120,000 USD UK style. I thought we were supposed to shame UK model, not copy it. Mm -hmm. And then the idea came to my mind where I'm thinking like, who, like, who were, like when you're building something like this, are you building this for people to live, live? Or are you building it for people to invest but then if even if you're building for people to invest in AP, yes, the people that spend the money for like the people who make the investment, mm. right, they're also looking at an uh you would say a clientele mm. who is going to rent that property from them when they buy it. For or, me you understand for me looking at the videos because, as I said, we've never visited there before. Yeah. But the videos... And it's just the comment, guys. If, you, if you're joining in now, you don't know what we're talking about. We're talking about the signature apartments located in Ghana. It's a very beautiful structure based on the video on the website. However, the comment section is saying a total different thing. So we're just <laughs> discussing what people are saying, right? Yeah. Yeah. So um, it seems like it was more designed for short-term stay versus somebody buying it and living there yeah, unless you term. unless you like view like it, unless you're a for me mm -hmm. if i should class the type of client that this property is for mm -hmm. i would say it's for the inve the young investor or the entrepreneur that is seeking a place in africa where they can have access mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. amenities like the airport the mall mm -hmm. certain like Accra Ghana, it's not far. Right, like key build, locations. You understand what I mean? But it's for professional people, yeah. not necessarily people who are relocating to Africa. To, for, who are retiring. Yeah, no, this is not for people who are doing that. This understand. is for business class people. That's what I think. That's what I see. Is too, the to marketing be of this building geared towards business class people? I don't know what I see. I did not hear any mention of that, that this is for business class people. Mm -hmm. I think the developers, but you know, they, can, you they know, can correct me. The mm -hmm. developers can correct me if they, if they want, if they're watching, right? Yeah. But I think it was designed for diasporans coming back to Gam um, yeah, but Gambia. <laughs> Ghana. <laughs> diasporans coming back to Africa or Ghana. And it was not necessarily for what I just said. Um, yes, they might be, have, they might have been looking at that class of people, but then AP, um, mm. you have working class diasporans who are coming back, who have the entrepreneurial spirit and the skill set to improve development, mm. you know, and so a space like that would mm. be suited for them. Mm. Um, if, if I should say though, one, one, when I was studying, um, I think it was property management. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of the classes that I was having for property management, mm. they, they, it, they were share, saying that normally when you are marketing a, a, a property, you, you, you don't, they call it the word, it's almost like prejudice. Mm. As to who should yeah, rent yeah, yeah, the yeah, property. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Um, I understand but you. Still, I understand if you, you. If you are making a product, for example, like Adidas, mm. Adidas make product for sports people. But it's they not, don't say that. They, they don't say it. But mm. when you look at it, who would wear that? Athletes who mostly wear those yes. things are people who want to go and exercise and that train. That is correct. That is correct. So then a person who like sitting down and cooking and those things, not going to look at Unless you're talking about fitness cooking, that's a different <laughs> case. I, mean, I like that niche. <laughs> so normally, when even if you don't say that mm -hmm. this product is for this person, mm. in the back of your mind, when you are doing your development or your branding mm -hmm. and all of that, in order for you to reach your clientele, you have to put yes. those key factors it together. Sometimes even if you don't use words... Let's say for the ads, you will use that avatar. You will, you will, exactly. You will, you, will, you will dress the person according to, you will even set the scene. Maybe, let me give you guys an example. This one is for free, right? You, you can send me <laughs> something for it, but it's for free. Let's say you have this guy. He flew in from the airport with his suitcase. Mm -hmm. He's by himself. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. he then show up at the signature he was led to his room he was given his key he go in there he unpack his bag mm-hmm. and his bed he took his laptop out mm-hmm. i take his laptop out he goes to his small office there he's looking out at the view yeah he's tap 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 he's on the phone smiling he put the phone down walk to the front of the balcony there at his room yeah. open the windows are you guys envisioning this he looks out he see the view he's smiling he's happy i'm home in ghana he said and he said He's That's home it. and making money in He's Ghana. He's home and making money. <laughs> that one sounds better to me. Then. <laughs> you see, and that, and that, and that, and that is something. Now, if I am like that guy, mm-hmm. then you don't, you don't, you don't specifically say it's for this person. But the video, the ads that you're using, yeah. is going to say that it's for this person. Like it doesn't matter mm-hmm. who you're targeting. If the ads, the people that you bring to advertise it, mm-hmm. is going to be the result that you're going to get at the end. Exactly. Of that video. And if people are buying because someone come in and say, Vanessa, I bought a unit because of you. Yeah. <laughs> you see? Yeah. Congratulations. And I see another one here. So one person said this. Um, so basically, you get a hotel room for 120K as for them managing the complex and the apartment. I bet the fees will be around what one get in rental income. Okay, you know what I think the problem is? Mm -hmm. I think the problem is people are looking at the one bedroom and two bedroom and judging the and the judging the price based on that. For two bedroom, one bedroom, one hundred and twenty thousand for one bedroom. Ah Mm -hmm. that's not that's not worth the price they are thinking. Mm -hmm. They are they're valuating the the entire property, the location, Mm -hmm. everything around the amenities based on that one room. Mm -hmm. So the the brains you know how marketing how marketing work you start outside even if you look at a property tour yeah. they start outside before Most they times. go inside mm-hmm. so when you start out like you're watching a movie in the movie start you see a wide angle shot yeah. first yeah. so it kind of set the premise so when you go inside you are you are already captivated by everything so now if you're marketing mm-hmm. the room then people are going to be stuck at the room because it's a problem to them that it's a one room for that price. You understand? Mm-hmm. But the amenities. The stuff, remember yeah. what 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 um persons would have to remember mm. is that Ooh. you know it's not just the one room that you are getting for, from an apartment. Mm. You understand? Mm-hmm. The Especially the way how the apartment is designed, mm. the amenities that is already in that vicinity for you mm-hmm. that exists is, is a key factor in why pricing is like that as well. Mm. You understand? Imagine if you were, they were to build this apartment mm. in, for example, like a, out, the outskirts of Akragana where nobody don't know that place. Yes. Right? And then you have to travel like some distance to get to the airport. You have to travel some distance to get to the, the, the nearest hospital or you understand. Mm. Even if the, the vicinity, like the signature building itself, probably have like a, a restaurant or you know, pool and stuff like mm-hmm. that in the the in the direct vicinity, the outskirts is what you will need as well. The, the outside amenities is needed as well. Yes. You understand? So me, the, I just I just think everybody is is stuck at the room. Yeah. I, I that's what I'm seeing in this comment section. Like even this person say, rip off, I simply don't understand Ghana and it's costly. Yes, it's well furnished and the furnishing is excellent. Okay. Then that's a point, right? Yeah. But the price is unjustifiable. The space is way too small. In many developed countries, you'll get a bigger space, better amenities and infrastructure. Absolutely waste of money. All right, AP. Waste of money. Look at it this way. <laughs> Look at it this way. Yes. An already existing business that is well seasoned in its um in, in its what do you call it? Industry, mm. right? Mm-hmm. Say, for example, it's, it's around for like uh, 30, 40 years. That company 
have the ability to do more with less mm. than a company that is just starting up like one two three years mm. you understand mm. so in a in a in that case for example, if we're, we're looking at develop, the developer, okay. right? So, okay, you might have a developer who is seasoned in this thing, mm. right? And they have the finance behind them already that they can build out something in no time and just open the doors to people and, you know, they can afford to give a certain cost, mm. right? Mm. Versus a young developer who is just starting out, mm. um, who have to go through a lot more rigor rigorous... Um, yes, in terms of policies, exactly. in terms of getting access to finance. Getting net networking. Yes. So the cost That's for he, this person's apartment, for mm. example, might be a bit higher because of what they have to go through. That's, that's you true. understand? That's true. And in order for them to grow and to improve, Epi, come on Yes. Now. No, I understand what you mean. And, and we don't know if these people are building a long time we have to do some research on this company to be honest with you they might be around for some time but i don't think that really matters really i think cost is cost mm -hmm. and and profitability it, is profitability yes but i mean cost is cost in terms of if a bag of cement is for example 300 us dollars then that's the cost that's yeah. the that's the price that's the that's thing true. That's you know true. so if if it's, if it's going to cost you Let's say, let's say five million US dollars to build a signature. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's more than that, right? <laughs> and so we don't know if these people they come out of pocket or they get funded by someone, a bank. We don't know, right? Yeah, so yeah. these are all things to consider. So if they don't price the the property based on all of these factors, mm -hmm. then you're going to lose. Anybody who is an entrepreneur will know this. Anybody who is an investor will know. You cannot buy something for twenty dollars and sell it back for twenty dollars. No, where you're not going to make any money unless you're running a charity. You see, it, and you cannot even say, "Okay, I'm buying for twenty dollars. You lend me ten dollars, so therefore I'm going to sell it for forty dollars, so I make ten dollars." No, it, because me, I want to make money, so I'm going to look at the potential of mm -hmm. how much I can actually charge for this based on location based on other areas that are meeting me here, mm -hmm. right? What is mm -hmm. happening around me? Right. How much is a building down that street cost? Yeah. I don't know. So based on all of these prices, then you price your property, right? Mm -hmm. And a, per mm -hmm. a property appraiser can come on and say, yo, you know, based on this, 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 yes, this is the price for it. So maybe it's not even the decision of the builders or the person who own the property mm -hmm. to price it like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe an appraiser came and said, whoa, this thing, if you're going to sell per unit, one bedroom is 20 million US dollars, <laughs> two bedrooms is 40 million US dollars based on where it is at, yeah, right? And yeah. they say, okay, so if it's 20 million US dollars, we're spending 10 million to build it, that means we make a 10 million profit. It sounds good. Let's mm -hmm. go, right? That's so true. there's a whole lot of things. Someone also asked, right? Yeah. Who owns this business? Or who owns the business? I think they're asking. Oh, are, the building? are all the money from these places leaving Africa? I think they're asking That's who owns the building and if the money is leaving. But Vanessa go there and she said the company is owned by Ghanaians. So that is good. So it mm -hmm. go back to what I said before. Mm -hmm. If you have the money to buy something like this and it's for you, you don't have no time to build. Mm -hmm. It's not something that you want to do. Yeah. Like me, going through the whole rigorous dealing of construction fighting with contractors and mm -hmm. going to government to try and get this out all of this headache if somebody can do it for you i think if you have the money you do it yeah if you don't have the money then go and build a tiny home you know we talk about tiny home exactly if you, if you don't <laughs> want to go to ghana then go to gambia and one of these countries that are a little bit more affordable for you Epi, i you think know, and all build. the mindset of our people should be not that things are expensive, mm -hmm. but more on the fact that I can own one of these. Correct. Because if, if okay, you can have a 50,000, uh, okay, yeah, 50,000 US um, property in the village. Mm -hmm. And you can have one of these 
in Accra, Ghana, as you see there. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. What benefits do you have from the Accra, Ghana one versus the one that is 50,000 in the village? The Accra, Ghana one is much more easier for me to monetize than the one in the village. Exactly. Because people are going to want to come to Accra, Ghana at some point. Exactly. And I will have an apartment and available. And the amenities that yes. already exist in Accra, Ghana versus what would be in the village. But guess what? Not because you have a property in the village means that nobody is going to go there. That is true. You have some people love the village life. That is true. <laughs> so they will go there. So, but No, but what I'm saying is mm -hmm. you can't... And some persons will say that the $50,000 one in the village is still expensive. Correct. You understand? 50000 for something in the village. Ah, me, I'm not going there. That, to be honest, if the say. signature was built in the village, right? They would, it and would they be worse. Ask for that price. It would be worse. <laughs> it it, would, be it worse. would still mean a lot. You know why? Mm. Because it brought amenities to the area that was Correct. not existing. But it would be lo it would be worse in terms of how people perceive the, the that price. That is true. Because it's inside this community in the village. But then it would have cost much. them more to build in the village. Because you have to transport Correct. those things that does not exist in the village that is already in Ghana. Accra, Ghana. These are the things that people don't think about when they're thinking of residence, commercial mm. residence. Mm -hmm. This is a commercial mm -hmm. building, you know. Yeah, it is yeah. a commercial build. It a, it is, the signature is a commercial building. It's and that's why the that. price is like that as well. It's, it's designed for that. Exactly. It's not It's not a home home, guys. It's, it's not a home home. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't con if I'm buying a unit there it's for money making that, that's yeah. it. Yeah, I'm not buying yeah. that for me to I, live. I'm buying there. it for an like Airbnb. Me. If I'm if I'm thinking I to would me, buy one bedroom and two bedroom for Airbnb. <laughs> you see? To wrap it up in a in a nutshell from me, from my perspective. Yeah, yeah. If I am buying a a one bedroom or a two bedroom at this signature, it's not a home. No. It's for it's to make money. Yeah. That's the only reason why I would spend that much money on a one bedroom, a one bedroom. Uh huh. Speaking of that too, AP. What came to my mind a while ago is like lease. I don't know if that property no, is I a lease know. property. I don't know. That's something I don't know. Mm -hmm. Or because then I was thinking, if you buy it, then you, you have, have it for life. Years. No, but it's it's but, not about that. I don't think it's about that either. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's about land um tension. I don't think it's about whether the land is freehold or leasehold. I don't think it's about that. Mm -hmm. What I think is about is location, mm -hmm. material costs, mm -hmm. amenities, mm -hmm. appraisal. Feasibility studies. No, the appraiser okay. is going to be the one that use all of what I said and then say, yeah, yeah, this is the price that yeah. is okay. Right? Is They are going to approve what these people are trying to charge for their, mm -hmm. pro their property mm -hmm. and target audience. Who are who did they build this property? I cannot tell you the amount of property owners we talked to, but I can tell you because what am I saying? You were there, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> we talked to them and they when we said, Okay, who are you trying to reach with your property? They said, Everybody, anybody who wants to stay here. I said, Okay. Then anybody and everybody is nobody. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Then, okay. It's not good. Yeah, you are right, AP, because like know. what you are asking for rental for your property or for sale for your property mm. must you have you have to have an avatar as to who can pay that money. Who can pay that money? Else you are going to be having a wasted investment. You're going to waste your investment. You know that girl, I forgot her name, this Gambian young girl in America. She went there with nothing. Yeah. And she is now owning several properties, but her properties are for Section A, people that are living, you know, below. Like nurses. And travel nurses. Yeah. So she knows who she's she, she getting knows her, her properties target for. Audience, yeah. So she cannot lose. Her revenue is secure because she knows how they move, exactly. what they want. How they what they are willing to pay for and what their salary is likely to afford them. That's what I mean, like what they are willing to pay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now with that, she knows what kind of property to get and where to get them. Exactly. And that's how she's winning. So if you're developing a property of any kind, you are going to think about your target audience. Who are you building for? Yes, think about your avatar. You know, and and. Are on what are you willing to charge them or what are they willing to pay 
mm-hmm. for what I want to build mm-hmm. for them, right? So, example, you're building for diasporans who want to relocate to Africa to visit or to live. They don't mind living off the grid. However, they want access to amenities, amenities such as light, water, park, hospitals, or clinic, anything that they need to maintain themselves there. Mm-hmm. So now, with that in mind, you can do your research and say, okay, how much money are these people actually having? Mm-hmm. They're coming to Africa. What is that sum total? They're coming, they're building three-bedroom houses, they're buying lands. So if I want to reach them, maybe... Let me see. They're spending mm-hmm. 30, 40, mm-hmm. 50,000 US dollars max mm-hmm. to buy a piece of land and build a house. Mm-hmm. Therefore, if I'm going to develop a property, my units cannot pass 30, 40, 50,000 50, um, dollars. It cannot pass it because if it does pass it, guess what's going to happen? They are going to say it is too expensive. Too expensive. Also, how many rooms do they want? Most of them like yeah. it to... Two to three, right? Two to three. Are they coming with kids? All of these things, and you put... The, that's the feasibility mm-hmm. study of it. Mm-hmm. Before you dig anything, you ask these questions. Mm-hmm. Now, once those questions are answered, it's just a matter of executing it now. Yeah, yeah. And get the right face, like Queen Jody and AP, <laughs> to market the property, Yeah. and those people will come and buy and guys marketing the property does not mean just go do a slapdash video <laughs> and put on one platform and say that is marketing no that's not marketing or take one eh? picture or two and slapdash it on the social media <laughs> and that is marketing it is not there is more to marketing than marketing that is and that is why every property developer must consider a marketing budget you when need it. they are going you who is going you to who how are you going to get the clients in the door yeah, if you don't, if you, you don't just want to build the property and it sit there. Oh, yes. everybody, run to me. Welcome. Why me? <laughs> no, <laughs> you you have to you have to put a marketing budget out there for your property, guys. Correct. It's like that. I mean, and if you are a property developer, or you are a property owner, and you seek to market your property, our properties in the Gambia, because mm-hmm. that's where we are right now. Yeah, but if you have a property in Ghana, we don't mind coming and touring it there. If you don't mind booking our flight, we'll come. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. Please reach yeah. out to us at queenjodianap at gmail.com and we will talk with you. We want to hear from you. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with someone you know. Um, help us to grow this community, guys. We, don't, we, are, we are still learning. We've been doing this thing for four years exploring real estate Mm -hmm. here in the gambia we went to bissau we checked things out there we went to senegal we checked things out there and you know this is something that we love we are very passionate about real estate yeah and you know we're not going to say we're no expert expert four years is still baby stage there are people that have been doing this for 50 years all their lives yeah right so we're not experts we just love real estate and we just love talking about it we just love learning about property It's a daily thing for we, you yeah. understand? So please, subscribe, tell a friend, and just follow us on this journey. We drop weekly videos on this um, platform. And don't be afraid to reach out. Thank you, guys. That's Mandinka, by the way. <laughs> Do you want that? <laughs>